What's up guys, it's I, Friendly Duelist, and um, I'm sure you guys have all seen the ban list by now. If you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Konami basically said, fuck you dragons, and uh, you know, Fate is gone, Magician of Fate came back. Uh, it's a pretty interesting ban list. Uh, kind of, it was basically what it, the game needed, you know, which is kill the dragons, and so... With that in mind, a lot of decks are now going to have the opportunity to be played more. I'm not saying like, oh, you know, every deck has a chance to be the next top tier deck or whatever, but uh, some more of the budget decks can actually be played without getting completely murdered. And some of these decks are really, really cheap to make. Well, all these decks are pretty cheap to make, the ones that I'm going to talk about. And not just because they're cheap, but because they can also be a threat to, to you know, to the game. Um, I'm not just naming random cheap decks, I'm gonna name off some decks that are cheap but are also good and consistent. So um, the number one choice in my opinion for a cheap uh, budget deck is the Thunder Family deck. Mostly because I love this deck and this deck, the only expensive card in the deck before was Thunder Seahorse but it recently got the you know reprint so now it's a super and it's only like two bucks for the super so yeah, this deck uh, is really, really good. You know, you can you can go into a level eight pretty easily. You can go into any rank four pretty quickly, and you know it has some pretty decent consistency. Uh, you know, you can play dualities, you can play card card keys, you can play Thunder Seahorse and duality the same turn, and you know you gain pretty good advantages in this deck. Pretty good high hand advantage. So that's definitely a deck that I would want to you know get, uh, take a look at. If you want to build a fun budget deck, another deck is a uh, Chaos Dragons. Uh, Chaos Sorcerer came back to two, so that's pretty cool. Um, then you have the two new little dragons that search the other one out, and you remove one of the other attributes. So the dark removes the light, the light removes the dark. Um, actually, this this card can be splashed into. Now this card can be splashed into the Thunder family pretty easily. Uh, kind of want to try that out, but. Uh, nonetheless, the you know these two these two dragons came out in structure decks. You know, Red Eye Darkness Metal Dragon comes out as a common. Kaya Sorcerer is a common. BLS just got a reprint, so this deck got just uh, it's pretty cheap to make, and it's I can definitely see it being one of the better decks of the format. Uh, you know, Lila is pretty cheap. There's commons. There's common Rikos. The only thing would be a uh, Solar Recharge. They're like I think they're like ten bucks for the cheapest one, but. It's not that bad, you only run like two, maybe three, depending on your preference, but other than that, the deck's really cheap to make. Um, another deck that I love, Lavels. Um, you guys have seen me play some some Lavel duels, and I mean, the only thing that got hit in this deck was Blaster, and that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, Rekindling, I'm actually a little surprised that it didn't get hit. Seeing as this deck can easily be one of the better decks of the format, and it's just it's a really really good deck. It's so easy to uh, bring out Quasar, so uh, that's definitely a deck that I would want to consider playing this format. And it's really cheap to make. It's like the literally the only card that's slightly uh, you know expensive would be card card deep, like maybe what seven bucks for the mosaic rare or the black rare, and Quasar is like twenty five bucks, but other than that, everything else in this deck, even the extra deck's not that expensive, so uh, this is definitely a deck to consider when making a budget deck. Insectors are another thing that people kind of don't play anymore, but they're still pretty good. They're still a pretty good deck. Um, if you let your guard down, they can OTK you pretty easily, and they can do some pretty good combos. And this deck's actually really fun to uh, play. I played this deck before, and it actually involves more skill than most people would think it would. Uh, and yeah, it's really cheap. Kickamance is really cheap. This is really cheap. Everything in this deck is extremely uh, budget. So, if that's your playstyle, I'd definitely go with that. And Frognarks, uh, it's probably one of the... Not, not one of the better ones, but it's still a pretty good deck. Uh, it's a pretty fun deck, and I love the Monarch, so I, I played this deck before, and it just wasn't my playstyle, but it's really cheap. Everything, you, you can get the whole deck really cheap, like maybe 
60 bucks for everything, everything, that's even including the extra deck. So, I definitely, uh, I would definitely take a look at that if you want to play that. And, uh, I don't know, other decks would be probably like Fire Fist, they're not too expensive and they're definitely going to be really good this format. Uh, and Dolce's aren't too expensive either. Uh, what else? Evil Swarms aren't too expensive, Constellars, you know, it's decks like that, but these are probably my favorite choices out of the budget decks, especially the Lava and the Hunter, so yeah, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.